Welcome to Just a Sliver. Here's a sliver of tomat. Tomat is one of the five French mother sauces. For the real-time cooking tutorial, click the banner above. Tomat is a wonderfully flavorful base sauce that you can use in soups, pasta, pizzas, and casseroles. Let's get cooking. Using a heavy base pot, bring to a medium high temperature and throw in your butter and pancetta. We're gonna leave this on for about five minutes to render down the fat. While this is happening, we're going to complete chopping the mirepoix. This is celery, carrot, and onion. And set that aside for later. Don't forget to stir the pancetta. Roughly dice your garlic and crush your whole peeled tomatoes. It's always fun to get your hands dirty. Remove the chicken stock from the microwave. We just wanted to remove the chill. And now it's time to add in the mirepoix. One cup of celery, onion, and carrot. Mix the mirepoix in with the butter and rendered fat, and keep that on the heat for up to five to six minutes. Now throw in the bay leaves, garlic, and thyme. Now it's time to pour in the liquids. Start off with the stock. And the crushed tomatoes. Give it a quick stir and then that is off into the oven at 160 to 180 degrees Celsius for one hour, but can be in there for an hour and a half. Halfway through the cook, give it a quick stir. Once the cook time is finished, take it out of the oven, remove the lid, give it a quick stir to start the cooling process and remove the bay leaves. 10 to 15 minutes should be enough for it to cool. And then you can start either blitzing it with your stick mixer or you can place it into a food processor or blender. Time to check for consistency and taste. Looks good to me. Time to store. You can leave it for up to three days covered in a jug in the fridge or up to a week in a fully sealed container. Tomat is always best used fresh. I made a marinara straight away with olive oil, onion, garlic, and some fresh basil. Get a little bit of color on the onion and the garlic and pour in some of that luscious tomate. Bring to a simmer and you're done. Unless you want to add some meatballs. Once you've created tomate, you will never return to the jar. Thanks for joining me for just a sliver tomate. See you soon.